Hi, Ray Hayden here, and this is actually an experimental video along with being a kind of a vlog. I don't really want to be a vlogger given my daily events of everything, but it seems to be going that way for now. We'll work on that. Uh, anyway, so let's look at this branch down here is in deep grass. If you look at the edge of that particular uh, branch, it broke. It didn't, it, and more recently at that, I didn't cut that one down. That broke and fell down uh, from the tree above. And uh, so I'm going to clean that up too. I'm going to drag it. As soon as I stop this particular clip, I'm going to drag that over to this other stuff. Now let me show you the other stuff. Okay, so I'm in a shadow because this is called um, backlight and it's too bright for where I'm at. So you're not going to see my face, but that's okay because the uh, star of the show here right now is this debris, which was in this deep grass. Um, I've already pulled it further away from the fence once so I could mow the grass along the fence line the best of my ability. And then I will, uh, I've already pulled it out once. Then I've just now pulled it out twice. And now this time it's going to end up going in my cart. It's a polar cart that I have to go behind my uh, Toro motor mower back there. And then off in the distance back there on that tree line, there's other trimming materials that I've been wanting to get for a while. Um, so today I'm trying to clear out horse field. This is horse field. And I'm going to try to clear that out. By the way, behind me here is overgrown field but it's not the part I've been working in yet. So I'll talk about that in a different video. Um, so anyway, so let me get back to it. I'll try to get some action shots of me cutting things up and driving around with the uh, trailer and stuff like that and then see how we can do on that particular part of this experimental slash vlog video, all right? So uh, stay tuned. Okay, that was interesting. Uh, I wonder if that video came out at all. If so, I, you've seen it. And uh, I sped it up quite a bit because it was the slowest ride out to the field here that I've made so far. Uh, this is horse field. And uh, you can pretty much tell why I call it horse field because it's wide open. There's a couple of trees over here, but they're uh, off in the distance. And all of the tree cover that we had in the background was, um, I mean, in the back of the field, these trees aren't actually in this field. They're over on the other side of the fence. But the limbs grow over. They go down and touch the ground. And I've cleaned, uh, I've cleaned that up. I made the initial cleanup to where I'll be able to mow back there very nicely. Now on the other side of the fence back over there, there's a whole lot more material I need to pick up for the burn pile. And uh, it's been slow progress today. But here, here's uh, what I'm working on right now. I'm going to finish working on this pile and then keep moving my way across. Now hang on a second, uh, I'll be right back and make an adjustment on the camera here. Okay, I got the camera set up, but this is going to be kind of a, this is the action shot kind of thing where I actually do some work, load up the bin, and take that back over to uh, the burn pit. Uh, but it's going to be slow action, hang on. Now I started out the day with the chainsaw, chainsaw was working fine, and then uh, the chain would jump, the, the, there's, there's that bar that comes out and the chain runs around that bar. Well, the problem is the chain has been jumping over the bar and uh, basically I had the adjustment all the way out, but the chain has like stretched, I guess, like on a bicycle chain, it'll stretch. Um, it's stre and, it, and it's not really being an effective and efficient thing. And it's again, like with the blades on the mower, it's not like I'm gonna be able to sharpen these things. There's not much chain left to go because there's no more adjustment left on that particular chain. So I'm going to have to buy another chain. Um, so with that, let's get to work and let's see uh, how it is that I'm dealing with this with the manual saw. Actually, it works pretty well, but let's get to it.
All right, let's go ahead and try to take this over to the burn pile and see what that's all about. There's no way you're going to be able to fit back there in the hayride bin, so I'm going to turn the sound down on this next part because the track the uh, mower is going to be running. I don't normally shut the mower off for this part of it. I'm just gonna dump the stuff. I got a couple of piles out here already. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is number seven. Uh, for some reason, this has been a little bit more exhausting. Um, let me set the camera up and show you how I dump this stuff. Okay, generally, it's very easy. All I have to do is uh, release the lever for the um, on the uh, on the trailer. I tip it back, and then I can generally push this stuff out most of the time. So let's go take a look at that. have it okay let's get uh let's get back over into the horse field and get some more all right back to work i got two uh two sections to work on now uh, I got to finish up the section that you saw me working on a few minutes ago and then uh, you know I'm going to continue working off this way. The goal for today, and I may not meet that, was to finish off clearing up this stuff that I had put on the ground. But if I don't get it all cut up and put over in the uh, piles by the burn pit, uh, I will at least pull it away from this tall grass and then I will cut the grass real low like I did over there from the previous pile. Um, I, I talked about it. I, I uh, uh, basically picked up all the stuff, got it over to the burn pile. Those are those piles that you saw. And then I cut the grass real low because uh, in the meantime, while I'm not working on it, the grass is growing up around the stuff. All right. So um, the, what I'll end up doing is just pulling this stuff out and then cutting the grass anyway. But it's easier to work with the wood when it's not in the tall grass. Let's do some more of this.
All right, back to the burn pit. To drop off our next load. All right, for this trip, do a little closer up shot of uh, what I'm doing back here. All right. Right here is a lever. So you simply pull the lever forward and start it simply. And then you can tilt this uh, back up. Now this is heavy because I put the heavier pieces, um, kind of like little miniature logs. Um, I put those up in the front of the bin. And the reason why I do that is two reasons. For transporting, uh, transportation of the material back here, it's easier to just grab those and pull them off. And then the second reason is the logs themselves. Different thicknesses of wood burn at different rates. Somebody can do the math and share that if they want. Uh, but the release of the energy over time, the, the fatter, thicker logs, as they burn, because they burn longer, they hold more energy potential in them. That's the stuff that keeps burning and burning and burning so that if I throw more stuff in there, it will also burn down as well. The thin stuff burns up in like nobody's business. It's real fast. And the leaves just have a dramatic fire effect. They're just kind of interesting and somewhat scary. All right, so let's dump this load and see what we got. Yeah. Okay, I threw a little extra oomph into it to help me get them things off, but they don't come all the way off. So let's see. I put my hand in there, gloved hand and uh, pull those things off of there. All right. And then these log things, I kind of keep them where I can see them. Okay, you get the idea of uh, what's involved, what's going on, and everything else. Um, I'm gonna make more piles of stuff, you know, back here, and then uh, get ready for the burn in the fire pit. But the uh, the basic idea is a controlled burn, and normally what that means is just don't set anybody else's property on fire. Keep it under control. But there's also another thing about making sure that you have enough fuel, being the debris that's burning up to control the effectiveness of the burn throughout the day, all right? So I'll talk about that in a later video. Um, let's go ahead and uh, do some more stuff, and uh, I'll come back and see you in a bit. Until I catch you in the next video, take care and be well.